right uh, hi guys uh, today to uh, help out somebody I know that uh, has a bit of a mounting problem with one of his hard drives in his computer uh, it's an NTFS hard drive from a previous Windows installation he is now running Linux Mint and uh, wants to get access to that drive I'll just quickly show how to do it um, so basically the first thing you can go do is at the start menu uh, go in and type in disks okay and uh, it tells you yeah we have our 1.5 terabyte hard disk hard drive um, two bad sectors interesting but it is an old Seagate um, you can go here to additional properties and set some of the mount options uh, edit mount options but I have found that this doesn't work all that well uh, don't know why um, yeah so I'm gonna be doing it by hand um, okay we cancel that and uh, we'll say um, open a new terminal, control alt -T. okay, and sudo nano, uh, sorry, forge slash, etc. Um, fs tab, okay, opens up uh, nano for you, and uh, what you'll need to do is um, what's very important is if you go back to the uh, disks here um, this UID of here um, very important um, that's what you'll need to be able to do the mounting so uh, I've already got it stuck into a text file here because I had it running before so um, we'll open the text file up and copy that and uh, I will uh, put it in the description down below so that you know what I did uh, if you can't read this very well and uh, get to a new line in nano and type all that code in okay so in the beginning here it starts off with the UID like I said that comes from uh, over here uh, UID here alright so you say UID put in that number and uh, then you got to give it this mounting um, point etc etc I've decided to call it extended data and uh, I specify that it's an NTFS file system and it must auto mount etc etc but that's all you really need and uh, control S to save control X to exit that's for nano and uh, that's basically it and uh, you can do a restart and everything should be up and running let me try it quickly and see okay I've done my reboot uh, I've done nothing to test anything but uh, you will notice in the top left here it's got the mounted drive called extended data which we just added if we go down to our file explorer Nemo um, just minimize that we'll find out at the bottom here under devices we have extended data you can click on that and there it is immediately it's up and running uh, let me delete this mount file like oh well I first got to take that and copy it into the uploaded video Thanks guys, see you.